What is going on YouTube? White hair back inside of the computer and had a little chat with Fanta on our like 19th week in a row without finding anything at the garage sales. And I told him I'm going to get on Craigslist on my next days off and I'm going to buy something, period. I don't care if it's if it's a good deal, a bad deal. I don't care if it's to resell or to add to my collection. I'm going to be buying something uh, because I want to find something. So you guys can come with me through the misery that is Tucson Craigslist, starting off with two Game Boys for 80 bucks. Honestly, not not terrible. This is probably what I would ask if I sold this lot on eBay. But again, it's Craigslist. Um, we can't be paying retail. We just you can't. There's no reason to. Uh, if I want to pay retail, I'll hop on eBay and pay retail and have it sent to my front door with uh, returns available. So we got a big lot of Atari games, which I stay away from. Someone might enjoy this lot at 60 bucks. 43 games Let me know in the comment section if you guys see anything of note. It's tough to see uh, the pictures are pretty shitty on Craigslist generally The most vague post ever PlayStation 1 games for two dollars uh, each game is worth two. Okay Not really sure what that means uh, We Harley Davidson motorcycle road trip day one by the we had historic amounts of shovelware historic uh, incredible. So a Nintendo DSi, I like this system a lot. I know it doesn't play Game Boy Advance, but 40 bucks is uh, a little out of our price range. We've got a Game Boy Color with six games. Not a terrible lot, but $70, $75, it's too much. Uh, not bad games. They do come with instruction booklets, and the system's kind of a desirable color. 75 bucks is too much though, and then this is just honest to God. $50 for a Pokemon Yellow. Uh, I sell this game quite often on eBay, and I promise you it's not going for $50 in any format. Maybe complete in box, but let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Yeah, so top rated plus with a brand new save battery, $34. And then people that aren't top rated plus, we're looking at like 30 something. It is a valuable game to find, much more valuable in my opinion than Red and Blue, and it looks like people have actually made NES versions of the game. That's pretty fun. So that's that's actually pretty cool. I love that they made the cartridge yellow as well. Uh, really went above and beyond. So Mortal Kombat 4, Nintendo Game Boy. Anytime I see individual games, I usually run away. My goal on Craigslist is to find lots. Generally, Nintendo 3DS lots with a bunch of games is where you're going to find the best value. Uh, I've, at least today, I've still hit gold several times with 3DS lots. And this is Conker's Live and Reloaded. Wow. Sold Legend of Zelda and Donkey Kong. But Conker's Live and Reloaded is a huge find. He's got his prices. He took his picture with a potato. The worst pixelation I've ever seen. Uh, Mario Kart, of course. Donkey Kong Country Returns isn't bad. And some DVDs, which I'll never buy ever unless they're like from the Disney vault. Uh, Nintendo Wii and then whatever that thing is. And let's see if we can see the price here. I don't see Conquer price I'm right off. Let me know if you guys see it in the comment. We'll give them a call or a text in a minute here. Because his prices are pretty cheap for games. If we could get Conkers for under 10 bucks, that'd be a massive find on Craigslist. He is across town from me, though. That's a that's a huge factor in Craigslist is distance. How far are you going to be driving to get to this place? And usually I will search keywords of my town or my area because I hate getting caught up meeting people. And then people flake all the time. So let's take a look on eBay really quick what Conkers is going for. I remember it going for way over 30 and this was a couple years ago uh, as I spell Conkers terribly wrong. Hopefully eBay will autocorrect and it does not. So we'll search uh, bad for a day because then we know that one's going to come up right away. And Conkers with a K, okay. Conkers. And we spelled... Cockers. <laughs> Cockers. 
I'm in the I'm in the market for cockers, everyone. And fifteen. Uh, okay. Thirty-five dollars, sixty dollars complete. This is again not sold listings. This is what people are asking. Let's check out sold listings recently. Uh, there we go. Thirty-one bucks, thirty dollars, thirty-two. So yeah. This is a this would be a really nice find for like five bucks, but the drive is gonna kind of dictate if I get it or not. Um, he is across the known universe from where I live. He's in the east side of Tucson, and I'm way in the northwest. So let's keep looking. Uh, we'll go back to that one though. And we'll definitely contact that guy. A couple 3DS games, individual though, so not interested. A couple individually priced Nintendo games, overpriced Super Mario World, which I don't think I've ever gotten. Ooh, this is nice. This is pretty nice, actually. Morana, that's not terribly far from where I am. Let me know in the comment section if you guys think this is a good value at 150. Uh, I do not do Genesis currently. I know Fanta does. So let me know if 150 bucks. Alien Storm. Let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, Quack Shot. A WWE game, Sonic 3D Blast, with the horrific artwork, Jurassic Park. I absolutely love that movie license game. I love it. I play it on Super Nintendo still to this day a lot. Uh, a lot of these I'm skipping over. I've I've looked at a million times. So if you see me skipping over like a Super Nintendo lot, I've I've looked at it before. And oh god, shovelware the cell. 30 bucks or $3 each. At least he's asking a realistic price, but I don't think he's going to sell this stuff to anyone. Sports games, junk PSP, and like movie kids games. Let's continue down. We don't want to get too far back. Uh, I, I like to look at stuff from the last couple days because rarely are you going to find a really good home run from a week ago. Someone else will have beaten there. Always. NES with a zapper for 60 bucks. Wii U game. Um, I am in the market for a really nice Wii U lot. I think that this uh, system is going to be worth a fortune in like 15, 20 years. And it does have a decent library from what I've heard. So I'll be looking around for a massive lot for a couple hundred bucks with a bunch of games, hopefully. I check Craigslist about three or four times a week for that. And when the opportunity arises, I'm going to strike. I'll, I'll probably post a video, show you guys what I get. Siphon Filter is a really good series, but this is kind of a junky, junk lot. I've seen this posting a million times. Just shit games and a hundred bucks. As my mic comes tumbling down here. Oh god. Pokemon Edition Game Boy Color, and this is, this is really nice. This is awesome. Wow. 40 bucks. Uh, I know there's at least two of these because I found a different Pokemon Game Boy Color. But let's go ahead and take a look at the value of this. 40 bucks seems on the cheaper end. Okay, so, okay. There is a gold one. And the one that we're looking at is, looks like 60 to $90 is what they're asking. But that's with the new screen. Let, again, let's look at sold listings. That bag, I found that bag once at a game store. Regret getting rid of it. What a fun collector's piece though. So that guy got 117 and he's top rated plus. Again, I'm top rated plus. So stuff just kind of has more value for me than other eBay sellers. Uh, 90 bucks with the new screen. $30 and it won't turn on. Okay, so this is looking like a really good find at 40 bucks. Uh, from what I can tell, the condition looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to probably go ahead and email or text this guy. This looks pretty good. The back's a little bit beat up, but as a collector's piece, I'm only going to be looking at the front of it. The issue with Game Boy Colors... Oh, God. A junky uh, all-in-one console. The issue with Game Boy Colors is that they're, they're difficult to store. So... Um, it, or it's it's hard. Let me rephrase that. It's hard to display. Like Game Boy Advance uh, SPs and stuff are easy to like set up, but um, we're gonna we'll, let's make a few contacts here and see who we can get a hold of and what deal we're gonna find right now.
So really quick guys, a day later and this lot just popped up right now and it looks absolutely delicious at $40. You guys can see two copies of Pokemon Red, a purple Game Boy Color and a Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, no charger, but that's alright. Pokemon Pinball as well. And I'm going to head out and get this lot shortly after I get the Game Boy Color, hopefully. And both lots are 40 bucks. This one obviously has a lot more meat and potatoes, but the other lot has a much more kind of desirable and rare system. So I'm going to head out and get this one. And hopefully both the lots go through. And we're going to give the guy about Conkers. Uh, we're going to give him a quick phone call now and see what we can get going. All right, let's give... Uh... Let's give Conker's guy a call here. It's a call, which I hate. I hate calling people on Craigslist. But uh, at least you get to the bottom of it real quick. So I didn't see a price. Maybe you guys saw it. Maybe I'm retarded. But uh, I didn't see a price on this little piece of paper. So let's get to the bottom of this here. Hey, I was calling about your uh, video game posts on Craigslist. Oh yeah, what's up? Hey, do you still have uh, Conkers? Yeah. How much are you asking on it? Uh, five, but uh, I already got someone uh, uh, wanting it. Oh, okay. Are they going to meet you today? Uh, nah. Well, I got to go work soon, so it's going to be uh, next week. Okay. Uh, where are you working at? Uh, okay, how far on the east side is that? It's, uh, uh, cold and quick study. Okay, so that's way out there. Um, yeah, if you can come back, if you can come anywhere further west, I would definitely meet you in the next three days. Either today, tomorrow, uh, or the day after. I live in, I live up in Oral Valley, so. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that's a long way to head. Yeah, I can meet, I don't know, somewhere like the Tucson Mall would be awesome if you're going to be in that area. Uh, well, I'll let you know if uh, this person has a full through, I'll let you know. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Uh, All right, let it. All right, yeah, so he, uh, normally you'll get, you'll hear that story a lot about there's another buyer, blah, blah, blah. It's Usually it's the sales tactic to get you to buy something quicker. Uh, you'll hear people at like used car dealerships say that a lot as well. Like, oh, someone's really interested in this car. Uh, I just got a call about it. Usually, as the buyer, uh, stuff's in your hands. If this guy lived way closer to me, I'd go and get Conkers right now. But the fact that he's probably a 30-minute drive at least from my house, we're going to probably have to put Conkers on the back burner, sadly. Uh, the good news is I have this, uh, this Craigslist, uh, the Pokemon Game Boy Color is all set up so I'm gonna head there to meet him right now and I'll bring the spy cam uh, just in case it's it's gonna be a relatively straightforward transaction but I'll bring the spy cam anyway so let's head out and get that What's up, dude? Hey. Let me test out real quick. Yeah. If everything's cool, I'll hand you the money. Good description. David Bowie shirt? Yeah. Can't miss that. And you can get Chipotle now that you're done. 
All right, here's uh, 35, and then here's five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks a lot. All right, appreciate it, man. Enjoy. Thank you. Take care. You too. Well, that was easy. I know we can play Mortal Kombat on the drive home. What is going on, YouTube? Uh, back here in the Inferno with a, a really rarity on this channel, Craigslist Game Find. Uh, quite the anomaly to see on this channel. And yeah, basically I was out garage selling with Fanny the other day and I said, I'm getting on Craigslist and I'm buying something on my days off. I don't care if it's to resell, to collect. I don't care if it's $10 over retail. I'm gonna get on and buy something. And uh, that motivation actually led to some nice finds. Maybe I've just kind of blown off Craigslist and maybe I shouldn't be. But um, the very first find, before I show it off, I'm gonna show you guys kind of why I got it. And I collect these, I guess you'd call them special edition handhelds. And I have not a lot, but a nice little handful of them. So I'll show off some of those real quick before I show you what I got. And uh, the first one is this, what should we call it, Platinum Game Boy Advance. And I believe I got this at Goodwill for about $10, maybe less. Um, very rare color, and I'm pretty sure it was a special edition uh, sold only at Target maybe? It was sold only at one store and it's, it's very difficult to find. Let me know in the comment section if you guys know. Um, but really cool, I don't usually collect Game Boy Advances, but when you see a color like this that's pretty rare, had to collect it, had to keep it. And this one's even more rare. Can't believe I found this at a Tucson garage sale. I think I got it for 20 bucks and uh, it came with some games. So it was essentially free after I sold the games. But this is a gold Game Boy Advance SP, or not SP, just a Game Boy Advance. And I believe this is a Toys R Us exclusive, and it might even be from Japan. But it's absolutely beautiful, and I absolutely love the gold color. And the condition of this system is absolutely fantastic. The screen is like perfect, uh, very few scuffs. The labels on the back were removed, which I actually prefer. I know from a collecting standpoint, you kind of want those, but I actually, I like how plain it is, and I'm not planning on selling it, so. Absolutely gorgeous system. This system I kind of hate, but uh, it is a collector's edition, so I had to get it. It's a Mario edition DS Lite, and I've always not been a huge fan of DS Lite. It's probably my least favorite handheld. Uh, just the junky plastic it's made out of. I understand it still plays Game Boy Advance games, which is nice, but I've never been a huge fan. However, the fact that it's kind of a specialty novelty system, uh, I've kept on the bookshelf for years. That's my favorite system ever. My favorite actual system and my favorite edition of the system. Uh, Game Boy Advance SP NES version. I think this came out for like the 20th anniversary or the 25th anniversary back in the early 2000s. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I remember buying this at Horton Plaza in San Diego at the GameStop there. I don't know if it even exists anymore. But uh, I sold my, my version of it, but I got this on Craigslist three or four years ago. and had to keep it. It would be the perfect system if it was AGS 101. It's not. Uh, it's the 001, so it has the ship backlight, unfortunately. But uh, from a collector standpoint, this, this will always be in my collection forever. I just absolutely love this thing. Too much nostalgia, and the, the stickers they use on it, just like the NES controller, just has that same kind of rough feel, and I absolutely love this system. So this one's mint condition. It'll be staying in my collection forever. This one, gotta give Fanta a massive shout out for this. Uh, people were going to war, declaring war, and uh, getting into bloody battles over this system when it first came out. It's a new 3DS XL Majora's Mask Edition, and uh, this thing, I'm not making this up, was going for $500 on eBay. $500, people were asking. I'm not saying it was selling for that, but people were asking that in the secondary market, and it's a great looking system, but it didn't come with anything. It was just the system. It did not come with Majora's Mask, which I thought was kind of a cheap sellout. And it didn't even come with a charger. So you had to go get your own charger on the side unless you had an extra one. Um, but a gorgeous gold system. And this is a system I can see holding its value for the next decade. It probably won't go up in value because the 3DS will go down in value, but I can see this always being worth quite a bit of money. And if you're a Majora's Mask fan, you just have to have this on your collection. 
Uh, it's still going for north of 200, but the price has dropped down. So if you snipe on eBay, you can probably get it for under 200 bucks if you find the right auction. So to top it off, as I almost knocked the camera over, the system we got on Craigslist um, a couple days ago, you saw the video of it. Absolutely fantastic screen. Pretty decent condition front, and it I tested and worked. It works perfectly. It is a Pokemon. I guess I'll call it a Pokemon Yellow Special Edition Game Boy Color. There was a couple others that you guys saw on eBay. Uh, there's at least two versions of a Pokemon Special Edition. I've seen the other one. I think Fanta even has a copy. But this one seems to go for a little bit more money. And it has that absolutely beautiful uh, yellow transitioning into blue as you get to the back. And the back is a little bit beat up. Um, to me, it doesn't matter because as a collector's piece, it's going to sit on its side like this in my room forever, so the back's not even going to be seen. But um, just the colors of the buttons, the little Pokeball up there with the where the power switch is and then the power switch turns on. So I left it on, you can see the power switch right there. Um, just the colors and everything, just, just so fun. I miss when things were colorful and fun back in the 90s. Everything's just kind of like cell phones and stuff are just lame. They're either black or like some cheap looking rose gold color. But I miss when things were colorful and fun like this. And this will go right with my handheld collection. At 40 bucks, certainly pricey. I would have liked to have seen two or three valuable games in the lot to get some money back. But um, as you saw on eBay, some people were asking upwards of 90 bucks for it. And those were top rated, and I'm top rated. So I consider that a good value if I ever need to get rid of it. I should be able to double up my money. So let's get into the next lot. Uh, found this lot. Well, I was basically waiting to put this video up. Did you guys hear thunder going crazy? And the reason I got it basically is because these people were out in Marana, which is kind of close to where I live. And someone from Tucson definitely would have gotten this lot way before me. But the distance kind of protected me, I guess, if you will. So it was 40 bucks. I met them today kind of at their convenience. Uh, we'll start off with the good news. The good news is it came with a copy of Pokemon Red that is absolutely stunning. Out of the box new. I mean, that is just beautiful. Fantastic condition. As good as new, really. And I have, um, I have every Pokemon game in like mint condition, but this one literally might be better than mine if that's possible. Let's check if the save works really quick. The, the Game Boy Color just died. These batteries need to be changed out. I left them on. It looked like, as you guys saw, the system was on the whole time. So I'll be changing the batteries out. But this works fine. I played it earlier. Uh, so yeah, Pokemon Red, fantastic condition. And it does come with this case. The bad news is they were supposed to have two. They were supposed to have two copies, and they showed up with one. And they said they left the other one at home. But they, quote unquote, are going to mail it to me. So I gave them my address. Will I ever see the game? Probably about 50-50 chance. They seem like good people, but it's not eBay. They have no need. Uh, and I'm not the type of guy when I meet for a deal, I'll never quelch on the deal. Um, I know I could have said, no, well, I'm going to pay you $10 less. Pokemon's not here. But I gave them the 40 bucks. They came out and met me. Fanta had an infamous moment where a guy met him uh, with a bunch of games and then changed prices. Once you agree to meet, that's the prices that you should be paying and the deal should be locked in. Uh, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't back out of the deal, you shouldn't change prices or get cold feet. Once you agree to meet and someone drives across town, the deal should be set in stone. Uh, it also came with this Game Boy Color with a really nice screen. And uh, the front of the system is pretty nice. Unfortunately, we are missing the back battery cover. I think some company makes third-party back battery covers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I can buy it pretty cheap on eBay because they're always missing. You don't really need it, but I'll never play a system without one. Um, it's just like OCD, I guess, if you will. But a really nice condition system. Labels are in place and everything. And it is a, I guess, grape purple, we'll call it, which is a color I don't see a ton of for Game Boy Color. And once again, just look at how fun the colors are, I, I really like that Nintendo did this and went above and beyond. Uh, a couple Game Boy games, 720. Don't know why they didn't make a 900 game. 
720 was not a big deal. Um, Tony Hawk obviously did the 900. In fact, he just did it at 48 years old. There's a video of him just doing it, so that's really cool. Uh, people think that when you get in your 40s, you're getting over the hill. Obviously, Tony Hawk has proved not the case. Uh, Pokemon Pinball, which is always really fun for this Rumble Pack. I remember playing this game religiously back in about 2000. And it does have the Rumble Pack and it does have the battery case for this, so that is a nice find. Uh, pure Junk. I don't even know what this is. I think this, this just goes on the Game Boy Advance or the Game Boy Color and provides a light. Um, just Junk. Honest, honestly, I'm never going to play a Game Boy Color or a Game Boy Advance again in my life. Anytime I get a game, I'll be putting it on my AGS 101 system and that's the end of it. Uh, another shitty peripheral, which I'll probably throw in the trash. It has little speakers and a joystick. The joystick's kind of, I guess, neat. And a magnifying glass, and I assume it must have a backlight. But just a junky third-party thing. Again, I'll be playing on my SP, so it's not going to be a factor. A couple Game Boy Advance games. A couple Sonic games. Sonic 3 Advance. Never really see this one. And a Sonic Advance plus Sonic Pinball Party as lightning hits close to my house. Spooky. We have gotten some crazy weather in Arizona. I might put up some videos and there's the thunder so it's not that close. Uh, and then kind of the meat and potatoes of the lot. Really nice condition black Game Boy SP with a creepy Snow White sticker on the back. I didn't even notice that. Uh, they did not find the charger but I'm not mad at them because the screen in the front of the system is in just immaculate condition and that's really all that matters to me. Um, when I saw the picture, I was really, really hoping that I would get a AGS 101 because there is a cobalt or there's a black AGS 101 and then there's this black AGS 001. So always check out the black handhelds when you get them. This is a 001, which means it has the shitty backlight. You can always tell just by hitting the button. If the light turns off, it's crappy. If the light just dims, it's a good one. Um, but this is a nice condition system. And I'll be selling this to get my money back. And I'll probably be trading on. I mean, this is... I don't think my copy could be in better condition than this game. Let's check the save battery really quick. Always a factor. Keep in mind that save batteries on these 20-year-old games are going to be dying. It's simple. It's only a matter of time. If it's not this year, it's going to be in the next two or three years. So figure out how to exchange batteries. Or have someone that knows how to do it do it. And uh, this battery is good. Ooh, badge is eight. She got it done. So, um, always fun to look at old people's save accounts. She's got Mewtwo, Pinzar, weird ass team. But I'm not mad at her. The save battery works. I'll be exchanging it anyway. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the content and this video hits 250 likes, I'll do another one of these videos in July. Same concept. I will get on Craigslist. No matter what I find, I'll find something I kind of like and I'll buy it and I'll make a video just like today. So if you guys like the content, hit the like button. If we get to 250, I'll be doing another one in July. And I, boy, I don't know what to tell you guys about garage selling. It's been awful. We had another week last weekend of nothing. But you guys saw some of the weather. It's either deadly hot or ridiculous electrical storms for the month of July. So it's a dangerous time of the year. It's uncomfortable, it's humid. But um, we'll keep hitting the garage sales, and in the meantime, we'll try to do some of this content. And possibly, I'd like to go to the pawn shops again. I might get Fanta to go with me and check out the old games at some of the pawn shops around town. But anyway, thanks for liking. Um, be back with another video probably in the next week, and talk to you guys later.